Make sure you check out my new channel, I Love Myself, a 365 day experiment in self-love. I'll be talking about how to be your very best friend, learning how to love yourself. Uh, just follow the first link in the description box below to subscribe. How's it going guys? Topic for today's video, the best advice that I've ever gotten. So I did a video a few days ago talking about the worst advice that I've ever gotten. And my lovely girlfriend, Hi Carp Hannah, suggested that I do a video on the best advice that I've ever gotten. So I'm gonna do that today and talk about basically some of the stuff that I wish that I knew maybe like 10 years ago. I wish that somebody had drilled this into my head. I probably wasn't in the, in the right place to actually receive this type of advice, but I really wish that it was something that I knew 10 years ago because I, I, would, I would fathom that my life would be totally different nowadays. So the first advice comes from Bob Proctor, who you know from watching uh, The Secret. And the second piece of advice comes from Rhonda Byrne, who is actually the creator of The Secret and has written a number of books as well. So the first advice from Bob Proctor is the idea of constant spaced repetition. Something that he says in his uh, DVD program, You Are Born Rich, which you can actually watch on YouTube, is he talks about the idea of constant spaced repetition. So basically what that means is constantly spacing the repetition of really good thoughts and feelings over and over and over again. Something that he says that I think is really powerful, he says, I haven't learned a lot in my life, but I've learned a, I've learned a little bit every single day for a very long time. Now the distinction is there, he will focus on reading a book for maybe for 20 or 30 minutes a day. And he will do that habit over a number of years, right? Like he's done that his entire life. He's literally reading the same book that he started reading back, I don't know, like 30 or 40 years ago. He still reads the book Think and Grow Rich every single day. And he's been doing so for a long time. Now, the idea of this is kind of like what has kind of sparked the idea for A, my self-love practice, and B, the reason why I'm only reading four books in 2015. So it's the idea of repeating the same thoughts, the same ideas in your mind over and over and over again, every single day, over and over and over again, every single day, constantly, over and over and over again, the same ideas. Because that way you actually start to really internalize those ideas. Rather than focusing on one thought, and then the next day you're focusing on something totally different. And then the next day you're focused on to something totally different. And what this basically, the reason why this is so important to me is because as I was growing up, I was always so focused on immediate gratification, immediately just being gratified. So if I wanted to do really well on a test or an exam, basically what I was able to do is I was able to, I was able to study basically the night before and do really well. I never actually developed the work ethic. I never actually had any type of consistency with doing homework and actually learning the material. So I was able just to do it in one short little, one short little like study session, just a little cram session, and I wouldn't actually really learn the information. I would just basically be able to regurgitate the information, and I never really fully understood it. So the idea with constant space repetition is that you're doing it every single day and you're really gonna internalize that information. And this is something that I wish that I knew a long time ago because I would have probably started these same habits that I am doing right now. Now the second piece of advice is from Rhonda Byrne. And it's basically, basically she says, just feel good, feel love, feel amazing as often as you, as you can. Now I've read a lot of like personal development books and it's just never really kind of been explained to me. Like she talks about how your feelings basically create your reality, right? So your thoughts and your feelings basically create the, uh, the, the reality that you're experiencing right now. And if you're feeling more love, if you're feeling just better in general, you're gonna have more things in your life that reflect that better feeling state that you're currently experiencing. So if you're feeling more love, it's like a boomerang. So you throw love, you're like, and the love comes back. So it's like, uh, <laughs> which is like really cool. So I, I like to think of it like that. Like it's like a boomerang effect. It's like, so I'm throwing out love. I'm throwing out good vibes. I'm going, throwing out a good vibration. And it's boom. Hits, maybe it won't hit me that hard, but it comes back to me. So whatever you put out, you get back. So if you're putting out really good vibes, you're putting out really um, good vibrations, lots of love, lots of good feelings. Uh, you're going you're gonna to get that back and it's going to start to manifest in your life. So that's something that I've noticed since I've started doing my self-love practice is more things in my life are coming back to me 
that I love. So you should really check out my channel because I'm going to do a 60 day, uh, 60 day update video. I've already done a 30 day update video. Um, but things are really starting to like manifest in my life. Like it's, it's been really kind of crazy. Like some things have happened in the last 30 days that have been, have been absolutely awesome. So the best advice that I've ever gotten, constant spaced repetition, constantly repeating the same thoughts and the same ideas in your mind over and over, over again. And also feeling amazing, just feeling great as often as you can throughout the day. And that's really kind of like what I base my, my days around now is feeling good and constantly repeating those good thoughts and those good feelings over and over and over again. Feeling amazing. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Peace out.